Martin Perry, I'm 28 years old and I'm a professional table tennis player from Paisley. You're a professional table tennis player? Now, what does that mean? Uh, so I get paid to play, so I get funded through the UK Sport, which is lottery funded. So good folks like yourself paying taxes and playing the lottery, that funds me to play all over the world and compete all over the world winning medals for Great Britain. So I'm training towards the Paris 2024 Paralympic Games. Uh, I'm currently inside the top 10 in the world for my classification and uh, just about 10 days ago I won uh, a bronze medal at the World Championships. So it's definitely within my my ability and within my targets and my, my aims going forward to compete at the Paralympic Games representing Great Britain. It's, it's, it's a lot of work that goes in on the table and off the table, you know, strength and conditioning in the gym um, four days a week, but on the table five days a week, up to six hours every day, um, you know, because the, the guys that I'm competing against, they're doing the exact same, you know, so I have to do just as much, if not as more as them, just to compete, you know, and obviously competing here today at the North Ayrshire Open, you know, everyone's able-bodied, uh, apart from myself, so I've got to give myself the best chance possible, and that comes by putting the hours on the table and, you know, learning different movement patterns from everyone else, you know, everyone in here has got the, the privilege of having two legs, um, I'm one short and obviously missing my hands, that makes the game a lot difficult for me, but you know, it's something that I love, I enjoy and to say that this is my job means everything to me, you know, it's an absolute privilege. Can I ask, what happened? I was born like this, um, so I used to have slightly more of a left leg, but I've never had two feet. Um, but yeah, I was born like this, so for me, I find it a privilege, you know, I've been, been really lucky that I haven't had to go through any injury or illness or accident, you know, no traumatic events, it's just something that happened, I was born with it and I've been able to live a very fulfilling life and, you know, it's, it's something that I'm, I feel very privileged to, to have as my disability because it's, it's you know, it's took me all over the world, it's, it's made me do incredible things and, you know, if I wasn't disabled then I don't know if it would have happened. I mean, it's a game that literally everyone can play. Everyone can play table tennis and I'm yet to find anyone in the world that hasn't even tried it and enjoyed themselves, you know, um, doesn't matter what level you're at, everyone enjoys playing table tennis and it's, it's fun for everyone but definitely I, I, I've been in some of those practice sessions just to, you know, help out and I can, I can see the difference in the people that have been going for six months and people that have been going for six weeks because, you know, the the cognitive ability of table tennis takes is fantastic, you know, so that greatly improves Parkinson's and mental health and, um, you know, obviously it's a, it's a disease that we need to fight, um, but table tennis definitely puts up a good fight and it, and it definitely stalls the, the impact that Parkinson's has on, on the mind and on the body, so it's, it's a great sport, not just for life and health in, in, in general, but definitely for, for things like Parkinson's as well. What is table tennis as far as sports concerned in the UK? Football's probably the year. Yeah, it's, we are a minority sport. We know that. Um, that creates a good thing in the fact that we're a small community, so everyone knows everyone. But obviously, you know, that means that it's difficult to progress to the, to the very top in this game in the UK. So, in the able-bodied game, a lot of the top UK players, whether they be from Scotland, England, Ireland or Wales, they go abroad. And they go abroad quite young, because that's where the facilities are, that's where the best in the world are. Um, whereas in the para game, which what I play, we're quite fortunate that we have one of the best teams in the world, you know. So we have, I believe, 16 fully funded members in the British Para Table Tennis setup. And out of those 16 members, uh, we're all inside like the top 20 in the world, you know. So we have such a strong team in terms of para that it means we can actually centralise in the UK, um, which obviously, you know, makes things a lot easier in terms of having to travel, you know, because I need to take spare legs, people need to take wheelchairs and things like that, so it definitely helps that we're centralised in the UK, but we are a minority sport. Have you developed the, the batting technique yourself and the, the actual equipment? Yeah, when, when I first played, when I first picked up the bat, I held it between both my arms, mm -hmm. uh, and that was useless. It was absolutely useless, I couldn't do anything. Uh, and I was able to speak to the, the guys that make my legs for me, and they came up with a solution, uh, which was to make a mould of my arm, attach the bat to it and then sort of it was just a slow progress from there um, you know once that was made it was more about just learning table tennis technique you know um, because the bat's never going to go anywhere it's not going to come off I can't let go of it even if I want to so uh, it was just more about putting the hours in on the table and practicing 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 and it is the old cliche but you know practice makes perfect and that's how we get we get good technique you know and everyone in here has, has got good technique because you know there's some good coaches in Scotland and some great clubs you know, obviously we're here at North Pearson Open, you get clubs like Drumchapel in Glasgow and, you know, it's, it's just about building those basic foundations that, that anyone can pick up, really. 
Where's the top country? China. China for sure are the best in the world. It's it's almost like a religion over there. You know, they start playing at three, four years old and and they just dominate. You know, they've won countless Olympic gold medals. Uh, but in para, they don't have as as strong of a dominance, but they are still quite a dominant nation. Um, but yeah, China are definitely the the ones to beat. Next step for you, what's that? Uh, my season's over after today, um, so I think I can enjoy a Christmas rest, Christmas break, go on, go on holiday, get a bit of rest. Um, but yeah, next year I've got the Para European Championships in Sheffield, which will be great because I know a lot of the guys in this hall are going to come down and support not only myself but the rest of the, the British Para Table Tennis team that are going to be competing there at the European Championships, um, and that that will lead into trying to qualify for Paris 2024 Paralympic Games, you know, so next year is a massive season for myself and my teammates in order to try and qualify for the Paralympic Games because that's why we do this, you know, we want to compete at the Paralympic Games, it's the biggest stage of them all, you know, as I said, obviously last week I was at the World Championships, I was, you know, I played well enough to win a bronze medal, but ultimately we are trying to compete at the Paralympic Games, that's the biggest stage for us and I hope to do that in 2024.